Alrighty folks, welcome back with some more ARK Survival Evolved. Jumping right back in here after finishing recording episode 1. Super excited to get going and try not to die. So let's jump back into our local world and see if we can survive the night. I was going to uh, kind of cut out the night and, and this is dark and it's tough to see and all that. But you know what, this is part of the game. So I will apply an effect so you guys can see this better on YouTube uh, once it's up there. But uh, for me, it's going to be really dark and really tough to see anything, but that's kind of how, how, how it works in this game and how it works in night time, you know what I mean? All right, and we're finally in after um, more than a minute of waiting for that to load. Uh, I think I'm stuck in the ground. Yes, here we go. I can move. And my torch is kind of on and not on at the same time. Let's, uh, let's, uh, what do we do? We do this. Put you away. You know, this is, this is not super dark for me. It looks pretty dark on my preview window. But again, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and apply an effect to, uh, fix that up. So anyway, I was saying that basically I thought I would, um, go ahead and record at least this first night because, well, it's the first night. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is in that supply drop we got a blueprint for cloth pants, which means I can use this. Uh, it looks like it's going to take 66 fiber, and that will actually make cloth pants for me, but it means I don't have to learn the cloth pants engram. Uh, and you're limited on the number of engram points you have, so that's a good thing. All right, the next thing I really want is a slingshot, which sounds silly. Okay, that's level 5, so we can't get that quite yet. Uh, we're going to want a campfire so we can cook some food. And we're going to want to do some of this thatch stuff so we can make a little house. But I think first... Uh, and I would go for this cloth gear too. I, I may still do that, uh, but I did just find a set. So at least for the moment we've got a nice set of that. I think let's do a sleeping bag first. Hmm, that takes a lot of hide to make. Yeah, no, let's let's go with uh, some of the... You know what, let me just hold on to my points for now. I'm not really sure which one I want. Uh, so you might have noticed there it just spoiled some berries, and the uh, UI is a bit large. Here we go. So this says uh, the measure berry is going to spoil in 9 minutes 41 seconds. So one of them, actually I guess I only have one right now, but one of those will spoil in about 10 minutes. One of my raw meat is going to spoil here in about 3 minutes. Uh, so you can't just like farm all the food in the world and hold on to it. So I'm going to eat a bunch of these berries because it looks like we're pretty hungry already. Uh, that little little ham hock on the right there is our uh, food meter. So let's uh, let's gather some berries Oh, and let's kill us this dodo bird. And there was a dillo around here and boy I tell you what you do not want to get hit with their spit at night because you can't see a dang thing. But anyway, we should be able to get rid of this dodo. I'll get a little bit of hide and a little bit of meat off of him. Come on. I'm more interested in the uh, hide. And again, you get more meat with the uh, pickaxe and more hide with the um, this thing. Hatchet. Axe. Whatever it is. Alright, so let's wander around. We're going to go ahead and just gather some berries here. Uh, a couple things on this. So all these different things will give us different berries. One of them is, it doesn't matter which way you face, so it just matters where you're standing. So if I stand on top of this one and face this guy, it doesn't actually grab the one that I'm looking at. It's grabbing from the one that I'm closest to, so that one's now gone. The other thing is, you can hold down the E key and get three of these at a time. Well, not the stone, but you'll get three out of every bush, and then you have to release the E key and hit it again for the next bush. So you can either just spam the E key over and over, or you can... Uh, hold it down for three grabs and then go to your next bush and do it again. So there you go. Alright, so I'm going to grab a bunch of berries and we're also going to get fiber out of this. We may get a few seeds I think, but those are pretty rare and uh, we're not ready for farming yet anyway. Honestly, I have not gotten into farming yet. I got two farming but I haven't actually made it work so um, I've got some learning to do there once we get to that point. Just going to keep grabbing this and then uh, in the morning we're going to take a look around at the surrounding area and uh, probably either try to find a place to settle down a little bit or maybe try to tame a dinosaur. Dinosaur? Tame a dinosaur! There we go. Had my uh, inflection a little backwards there somehow. Look at all these berries. All of them. Just a million berries. And fiber. That's the other thing. Is you're going to get a lot of fiber but you're going to need it for um, 
well, cloth armor. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. I love it. The moonbeam's coming down. You know, it, it it's visible, unless you're in the shade, the shadows here. Uh, it's visible without the torch for me, but it's probably not great for the video. Alright, so um, I'll keep the recording rolling and uh, kind of fast forward through this a little bit unless something interesting happens. And I'll uh, be back with you guys in a minute. Ooh, just got to level up. Let's see what we can do here. I want more weight. So right now I'm at 67 out of 100. Let's up that. I think we'll get an extra 10. Yep. And I'm now level 4, I think. So I still can't get my sling. But uh, I am getting some Ingram points. I'm just going to hold on to them for now. Uh, probably going to get the water skin real soon. And you know what? Yeah, let's just get that. And then the next, next time I'll get the uh, sling. And then we can work on really taming my dino. Alright, back to it. Okay, so I just broke my flint pick um, flint, my stone pickaxe by uh, trying to chop down this big rock. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this. So you don't actually have to go into your crafting grid. You can just hit the number on your hot bar, and it will automatically consume the things you need. And bam, your in this case primitive stone pick is repaired, and we go straight back to it. Oh, looks like uh, morning. It's a little bit brighter. Uh, go straight back to it and finish chopping this uh, this boulder in half, or in a million pieces. One of the two. <laughs> I love that. One of the pieces just like totally went shooting off in the distance there. So, all right, yeah, looks like morning. Great. Um, so I need one more level before I can get the slingshot, and the slingshot is going to make taming and dealing with dinosaurs a lot easier. So uh, let me just kind of keep gathering here for a little bit. Once it's a little bit brighter, I'll uh, cut, cut back in. We'll see you guys then. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful sunrise. Light rays coming through the tree. A little bit tough to look at, but I guess that's kind of how, you know, that really is. You don't look at the sun kind of stuff. To, the only problem is I don't see the sun. Well, I've got the sky effects turned off, so... Yeah, I should mention that. So this game can look really nice. Let me Let me just turn on the sky effects for a minute. Uh, but if I turn anything up beyond what I have right now, it becomes uh, chunky and sort of unplayable and all that. So look at that. We've got some pretty pretty clouds, and the, the sun will come up behind that and filter through the clouds and all that. Uh, but I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, you can probably see it. It's already just making that one change. It has brought my frame rate down enough that uh, it's not, not really in good shape for playing, or at least for recording uh, for me at that point. So, like I said, early access, they are still working on... What is that? Oh, it's just a rock. A couple of rocks. Uh, they are still working on optimizations. They've done a ton since the uh, first release. Uh, like I said, it's only been out for about a week and a half. And uh, it's getting better, but it's still still not great. You still have to... Unless you've got an amazing computer, you still have to turn down some of the options and make the... Uh, sacrifice a bit of quality for the frame rates. So... Hopefully by, uh, you know, launch or... Well, actually, they said launch might not be for like a year, I think I read. Uh, but hopefully, you know, they will continue to can, uh, work on the optimizations and get this better and better because uh, it's already... It, it just feels so much better at this point. Uh, the frame rates are much better and it just feels smoother. Uh, so there we go. Okay, so we have a trike for Triceratops, based on a Triceratops, I would say. And... And it looks a bit... He, he's not uh, aggressive, but if we punch him, he'll get mad and, and stab us with those huge horns. So we don't want to do that. Uh, it looks like he spawned in uh, inside a tree or just ran into a tree. So he's a little bit stuck right now. We could actually probably try to tame him after a bit here. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not like that sound. That was a Dillo, I'm pretty sure. I don't see one. That's the worst part, is when you don't see him. 
so yeah, you will get used to kind of recognizing the different dinos by their sound. That I'm pretty sure was a dillo, but I don't see it. Maybe I got away before it uh, decided to make lunch out of me. And rain. Okay, cool. So rain effects are not bad in this, I don't think. They're, they're, they look pretty good. I mean, it could be uh, enhanced a bit, but uh, it's not bad. It's neat that there's weather. There are hazy, cloudy days versus really bright days and all that kind of thing. The other thing is you uh, your hydration in this. You don't actually like drink water. You either jump into a pool of water and submerge yourself, in which case you get hydration back, or when it rains you get uh, hydration back. So this is good to... Uh, help us get hydrated. Okay, so here's a green supply drop pretty nearby, but to the green ones I think you have to be level 25? 10 or 25, I don't remember. Uh, so we can't get that one yet, so we're just gonna let that one go. Okay, I would like one more level and then I would be able to... where am I? Oh, I got a long ways to go. Um, well, let's see, we could craft some stuff. You get XP for crafting things. Hmm. You know what? We need to go find, go scouting a bit, figure out where we want to set up a house, and then I can craft up some, uh, craft up some foundations and walls and stuff. We'll get a little house started. Definitely do not want to do it down here, but I just wanted to take a quick look around. So I'm not sure what these actually are. They're, they're relics, arc stones, something. Oh, a little bit of frame rate lag right through there, but uh, not bad. Uh, so your first instinct might be to build right on the beach because generally speaking I think the game is supposed to be a little easier when you're on the beach than when you go inland and you might encounter bigger battered dinosaurs inland however I've tried to build on the beach oh wow that was bright uh, I've tried to build on the beach and it was not successful uh, the bigger dinosaurs can just completely crush your buildings and uh, they'll go wandering down the beach because there's no trees, there's nothing in the way, they just wander around for a while and uh, well yeah they might just kind of stomp your house to death while they're chasing chasing their prey or chasing you or whatever so um, I kind of want to get I don't know about up into the trees there, let me think about that I kind of want somewhere that's a little bit protected this might not be bad actually so if I leave this rock up, I'm sure I can explode this one. Or it looks like it's three inside of each other. Um, that's not bad. See, this, 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 uh, I think we can get up and down this too easily. So there might be dinos, like, coming down this at us. Well, I don't know. It, okay, it's pretty sheer. Oh, and I'm falling. Let's not fall and break our legs. Hmm. That's definite, de a definite possibility. I could build right down in here, and I think it's sheer enough there that nothing's going to like walk up to the edge and just like walk right down on top of us. And we'll have a little bit of shelter from these rocks, and we can make our doorway kind of like right there. That might work. Now, if you're being hunted, they're going to come after you anyway. But what I'm kind of trying to do is just get out of the main path of where dinosaurs might wander around because there are some very big dinosaurs in this game and uh, yeah they'll, they'll just wander by and accidentally stomp on you uh, like you might stomp on an anthill and not notice so uh, yeah I gotta be a little careful how about over here this is even more sheer I like, I like that I've got a little bit of a hmm hmm oh this is interesting if anybody, if anything comes down that, it's going to take some serious damage. Okay, so I like this because we're back out of the way. Eh, I don't know. This is kind of open. Things could come in here pretty easily, I think. I don't know. Let me scout around a little bit, and uh, I'll pick a pick a place and pop the recording back in. We'll do a little bit of building once I find uh, find a place that I like. So be right back. Alrighty, folks. I spent probably more time than I should have just wandering around looking for a place to build, and I uh, went kind of off to the west a ways, checked that cliff face out, came back to the east, and uh, I found a nice spot. I can barely move, by the way, because I'm like super encumbered right now. Uh, I found a nice spot over there, and then I found out that um, 
the that's the eastern forest apparently and it's super hot. So if you hit H you can see your current biome or location. So I'm in the Gulch of Lamentation and it's currently 64 degrees out which it's gotten cooler because it just started raining. Um, the eastern forest was 99 and if it gets too hot it uh, dehydrates you faster I think. And if it gets too cold then it um, what does it do? I think it takes your food away. Yeah. One takes water, one takes food, something like that. Um, so I decided against building in the eastern forest. I see something up on the ridge. Well, I thought I saw something on the ridge. The other thing is, I don't know what's in the eastern forest. It's probably worse than what's on the beach. So, long story short, um, this has some protection. We've got a few big rocks. There's some more over there that'll kind of help corral and keep stuff from getting in here. I don't know if this is the best place, but I'm tired of walking around. So let's get our engrams. Let's get a thatch foundation, a thatch wall, and a thatch roof. And that's all I can get right now. So I still need the door frame and the door, wherever that is. But um, we'll get started with this. And actually, I want to go into here. So now if we, let's say, make a... Let's start with the foundations and the walls. You can actually click, double click uh, a bunch of stuff and get a crafting queue going. But the other thing you can do is you can take items out of your inventory and let me move the water skin over here uh, for the moment. Oh yeah, I made the water skin. I think I got the engram on uh, on video but then didn't uh, use it yet. All right, so let me grab that. So if we put these guys in our uh, hot bar, then we're gonna be able to use them. A, A, use them, and B just like repairing the stone axe, we'll be able to uh, create more. So let's go ahead and put down, oops, not that, our first foundation. I think I'm going to just kind of cozy up here next to, next to these rocks pretty close. Something like this, fish. Okay, there's one. And uh, let's get another foundation started. And we'll put on a wall because I don't want anything coming behind us. I think you need walls to be able to put on roofs too. Uh, so we'll do that. Let's go ahead and get another foundation. Another wall. Okay, so now I'm out. So I need 10 thatch. If you hold down the key it'll tell you. So I need 10 thatch and I only have two. Uh, I need some more wood. I've got tons of fiber and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna need a bunch more thatch and a bunch some more wood but mostly thatch. Alright, so pickaxe ahoy, we're gonna... Thought I just heard something, it's probably me just stepping. Uh, we're gonna go cut down a bunch of trees and I'll be right back. Alrighty, well I guess it's turning night time here, but uh, after a bunch of walking back and forth and chopping down trees, getting a bunch of thatch, I have the beginnings of a home, well, a hut. Uh, a little bit larger than a hut, I guess, but not huge. So, a couple of issues. One is, uh, I can't put a wall here, because this is apparently too close. Uh, but, I did check, and I can put a roof on this. So, I have one roof section made up. I'll pop that right there. So, I think this will be open, but I think that will be okay, because there's, there's rock there. I think we'll be alright with that. Uh, I need the door frame and the door for here and I'm going to put another one back here so we can get out both sides, both directions. And we're going to need still more thatch, yes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go get more thatch and finish the roof sections off. But one thing I did want to do is just walk here, walk down to the water here. And I'll keep the torch out so it's easier for you guys to see. Probably easier for me to see too. I swear I just Oh, it's <laughs> it's particles coming off the torch. I'm like, I swear I just saw like a mirror flashing at me or something, but it's particles on the torch. Anyway, uh, so I did make that water skin off camera, and I wanted to... Hello, shark. Megalodon. Um, I wanted to show you guys how it works. So first of all, if you look at it right now on the number three key down there, maybe it's easier to see if I bring it up here. Yeah, it's a little bit larger. See that little teeny tiny blue uh, line there? That is the amount of water in it. So I can uh, drink that right now, and that will rehydrate me, but now the skin is empty. So what we need to do is go down kind of waist deep into the water and hit it again, and that refills the bar. It also rehydrates you because, well, you're in the water, so it's 
you know, should. Um, but it leaks, so as we go, I'm sorry, I keep thinking I'm hearing things. Uh, as time goes on, it's going to leak out some water, and we're going to uh, have to go back and refill it. So it's not a really useful, but well, it is a very useful uh, implement, but it's not uh, as good as you might uh, hope for it to be. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm getting the little cold symbol in the corner. Well, with with the torch gone, I do, right? So 56 degrees Fahrenheit is not super cold, but it's slightly chilly. And then if you put the torch out, uh, that goes away. So it's still 56 degrees out, but the torch actually radiates some heat for you. All right. Um, I think right now. Yeah, because I'm gonna just climb into the forest and go get that right. Yeah, I'd like to go get that drop, but I'm scared of what's up there. So um, I'm going to chop down a bunch more trees along the beach here and uh, get these roofs complete. Hopefully that will... Oh, yes, we have a level up. Cool. So let's let's do our level up. Again, I don't really know what the best stuff is here. Um, probably some more weight would be good. Once we get dinosaurs, they can carry stuff for us. But, um, you know, being able to carry your own load own weight is probably worth it. Uh, let's get the... That's what, I have eight, and I really want the slingshot. Okay, well we're going to do the slingshot, and the door frames are going to have to wait for later. Okay, so let's see if we can make that. Maybe that will be kind of the last thing we do if we can make it. Here it is, yes. Uh, five wood, 20 fiber, and one hide. And I got a little bit of hide off of those uh, dodo birds that we killed before. So this is our very first ranged weapon in the game. It's not great, but it is infinitely better than not having <laughs> than not having one at all. Those guys just just like like to troll you. They uh, they come down and they land right next to you. In that case, he was practically in the house, and he doesn't. They don't attack, but they like to just like harass you. I don't know if you guys can even see that. The the pterodactyls. Gosh, so dark on the preview. Uh, in game, it's not super bad. So again, I'll have to brighten that up. Anyway, uh, so I think next episode we'll go and we'll try to find some uh, dinosaurs to play with. Try to start taming some stuff. Now that I have a slingshot, I can uh, use that to help knock them out, and then we'll get them into taming mode. But for right now, let me finish up all of these um, roofs, and we'll be back. Where is it? There it is. Be back in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Catch you later.